Hello friends and welcome to yet another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Today we are going to talk about Six Sigma. Let's take a look at what is there in store for us today. Well on the agenda we will talk about what exactly is Six Sigma, what is the meaning of quality, history of Six Sigma and how does Six Sigma work, also what is the focus of Six Sigma. So let's take a look at this particular topic in detail now. So friends, what exactly do we mean or definition of a word of Six Sigma? Well, it is a method or a tool which is used for many, many organizations all over the world in order to improve their business processes. Well, definitely if there is an improve in business processes, the performance also improves and that also affects the profits of the company. The Six Sigma experts users use both a qualitative as well as a quantitative techniques in order to measure the improvement in the processes. Well, what is quality and how is it different from Six Sigma? Well, quality is having a different meaning for the consumer as well as the producer. From a consumer point of view, quality is more in terms of how that particular product stands in front of its competition and what is the brand value. Well, from a production point of view or producer point of view, it may mean that the product is produced by following the correct measures. Well, friends, let's take a look at the history of Six Sigma. Let's understand in detail about when it started, who was it started by, etc. Well, Six Sigma was developed in 1986 by Motorola. The father of Six Sigma is Sir Bill Smith, who designed the quality improvement methodology and produces for uh, you know, the company of Motorola. In 1991, Motorola trained few of its employees who are now known as the first belt people. Motorola has served more than or rather saved more than 15 millions in the first 10 years after launching the Six Sigma. Well, that's a lot of money saved only by following the tools and processes of Six Sigma. Well, it did not really end out there. It went further. In 1995, it became quite famous after Mr. Jack Welch made it the main business strategy at his particular firm. By 2000, uh, the year 2000, Six Sigma had already made the rightful place in the business market and had evolved as an industry which involved training, consultancy as well as implementation of the methodology. So everyone all over the world by 2000 was using Six Sigma beat in whichever industry they were in. Many organizations have improved the quality of their products and services and have made huge profits because of the fact that their qualities have improved. Now let's understand how does Six Sigma work? Well, there are two main project methodologies which are used by Six Sigma experts. The first one is DMAIC, which stands for, we'll come to it in a little while. DMAIC is used to improve the existing business processes, whereas the other methodology is DMADV, which is used to create the new products and designs. Now let's take a look at both these project methodologies in detail. The first one which we are going to discuss about is DMAIC. Well, the full form for this is D for define, M for measure, A for analyze, I for improve and C is for control. The first one is define, which means that you didn't need to define everything from a customer's voice to the goals of your organizations. Everything needs to be listed down in detail about who you are and what are you all about. The second method or second uh, you know, part of this is measure. You need to make sure that you are measuring the key aspects of the current processes and you are collecting all the relevant data which goes into that. The third is analyze. After you've collected the data, you need to analyze the data and understand what is the root cause of the defects which are coming about. The next is you need to improve, which means you need to improve the current processes based on the data that you've received and based on your analysis. Lastly, you need to have control, which means that control the future state such that the corrections are made before they result in defects. So this is all about DMAIC, which is basically for your current processes and current things. The next methodology in uh, Six Sigma is DMADV. Now let's take a look at this. D is for define, M is for measure, A is for analyze, 
D is for design and V is for verify. Let's look at, uh, take a look at this now. Define the goals which are required to meet the customer's demands consistently. So as an organization, what are your customer's demands, the targets, etc. That needs to be defined in detail. Next, you need to measure the quality and also measure the CTQ, which means critical to quality. Product capabilities as well as you need to measure the risks that are involved. A is for analyze, which means that you need to analyze the process of development and prepare uh, the plan of action, the contingency plans, etc. D is for design, which means that you need to now design an alternative methodology or tool, which is not something that you want to use from the past. You want to design a new one, which will be more effective than the past one. And last is you need to verify. What you need to verify is verify the design, set up pilot runs, do many, many pilot runs in order to see whether it's falling properly or no, and also implement the production processes. That's the difference between the DMAIC as well as the DMADV, which means that the earlier one is used for uh, the current processes and this particular one is used for the new processes that you want to incorporate. So friends, now what we're going to look at is what is the focus of Six Sigma? Well, why do we need to use it or what is the key highlight of this particular uh, process? Let's take a look at it. It helps to have an overall business improvement. Well, Six Sigma focuses on improving the business processes by improving or rather removing the defects in the system. So each and every defect when it's removed, it helps to improve the productivity of the business. It reduces the number of defects which are present in any of the products, whether they are new or old. Well, another uh, focus point of Six Sigma is on remedy of the defects. Uh, wherever there are defects in any products and services, Six Sigma helps to remove those or give a remedy to those defects. So if any business pro provides uh, defective products or services, it should work on improving these as they can harm the customer satisfied levels. And as you all know that if a customer is not satisfied with the product, what happens is it's a bad repetition for the company in the market. Businesses must reduce the number of defective products or it could be a service which could be a defected one. Well, the next thing which uh, focus of Six Sigma is on reduced cost. Definitely, if the cost will reduce, the profits of the company will improve or increase. And it's important that increased profits also help the employees to feel good and motivated about working in that particular environment. Any company which uses the Six Sigma to remedy the defects in their processes should also work at reducing the cost, of course, but it should not affect the quality of that particular product. The next thing which focus is uh, highlighted for Six Sigma is on improved cycle time. Well, any reduction in the amount of time which is used to produce a particular product or a service means money which is saved. So time and money are reversely proportional to each other because if you are able to save the time reduced, which will help you to improve or increase your profits. Well, customer satisfaction today is of utmost importance in every business or any organization. And if you are able to keep your customers happy, means that you will get more and more profits and more business will definitely come your way. Hence, customer satisfaction can only be achieved after the successful resolution of all Six Sigma other objectives as well. Well, friends, to conclude this particular topic on Six Sigma, what are the key elements or factors that we have taken into account, well, Six Sigma focuses on improving the quality of the business processes. If the objective of Six Sigma is followed diligently, then it is certain that the company and the organization will really do well. It will help to improve or boost the productivity of the employees, as well as it will have increased profit and reduction of time. Well, the two methodologies that we have spoken about is DMAIC as well as DMADV, which will help the organization to improve the existing processes as well as the new processes, which can be looked into in order to have the best kind of organization in terms of processes and quality. Well, friends, I do hope you have enjoyed listening to this particular video on Six Sigma. I hope it has been very informative and you have learned many things in this particular video. Keep watching, more videos coming your way. Till then, thank you very much.